before we begin the animation process, it is important to have the bird's artworks prepared. You can create the bird illustration in Photoshop or any pending software you prefer. Alternatively, you can draw the bird directly within After Effects using the pen tool. Just remember to divide the bird into two main parts, the wing and the body. This will simplify the animation process in the later stage. Let's start animating the bird using After Effects. First, create a new composition. Since I'm using a lower resolution artwork for the bird, I will keep the composition resolution around 120 x 120 pixels, with a duration of 10 seconds. If you plan to use this for a longer animation, feel free to increase the duration value accordingly. Next, drag both the wing and body layers into the composition. Then, press the Y key to reposition the pivot point to the appropriate position. Click on the cube icon to convert the wing layer into a 3D layer. If you don't see this icon, press the F4 key to display the option. Following that, press the R key to reveal the rotation property. Click on the stopwatch icon next to the X rotation to create a keyframe for the wing's default position. Then, add once a few frames forward and add another keyframe. After that, insert an additional keyframe between the previously added keyframes with a value of 180 for X rotation property. In certain cases, you might also find it necessary to keyframe the Y rotation property. Depending on preference, you can also animate the body position. However, prior to animating it, ensure that the wing layer is a child of the body layer. You can do this by dragging this icon of the wing layer and connect it to the body layer. In this tutorial, I'm adjusting the body position slightly upward when the wings flap down. To make the animation loop throughout the timeline, alternate click on the stopwatch and key in the following script. Loop out cycle. Lastly, add some easing to the animation by selecting all the keyframes and press the F9 key. Now we can use the bird flying animation we just created in our project. Drag the bird animation from the library and place it into the composition. We can animate the bird flight across the screen by keyframing the position property. Additionally, press the F9 key on the keyframes to create a smoother motion path for the animation. Next, we can duplicate this bird layer to introduce more birds into the scene. Remember to offset each duplicated layer and readjust their motion path. You can also enable layer motion blur to achieve a more realistic look. You might be wondering how to add more birds into the scenes. Do we need to duplicate more layers for that? While using more layers is a feasible approach, but there is a better way for animating flock of birds. To begin, place a bird animation into the scene and turn off its visibility by clicking on the eye icon. Then, add a new solid to the scene through Layer New Solid. Select the solid and apply a particle system through Effect Simulation CC Particle World. In the particle section, modify particle type to texture square and assign the bird flying animation layer we previously created as the texture. Depending on your scene's requirements, you might need to fine tune the birth and depth sizes. I will set both sizes to 0.5 in my case. Change texture time property to from start to ensure that all the birds don't flap their wings simultaneously. Set the opacity value to 100% and adjust the opacity map accordingly as we want fully opaque birds in our scene without any transparency. Next, navigate to the physics section and modify animation to direction axis. Set the velocity to 0 
and resistance to 0.4. Then set gravity to 0 so the particles doesn't drop below the screen. We can also adjust the gravity to negative 0.01 to make the particles move upward. Remember you can adjust all these values to fit your animation better. Next, shift the particle producer to the left of the screen by adjusting the position x value. Let's raise the longevity value to prevent the birds from disappearing abruptly and lower down the birth rate slightly. Increase the producer radius size to ensure all the birds are not concentrated in the middle of the screen. Raising the radius z value will enhance the depth of the particles. Keep in mind that you can experiment with various settings to discover what works best for your animation. It is also possible to create 2D flying birds using Blender 3D particle system. Basically, we will reuse the two images we have created and apply them as a texture to a simple low poly model. We can then proceed to rig and animate the model using the armature system. However, there is a more straightforward approach in this case. We can animate the 3D plane bird by keyframing the shape keys option located within the data tab. To begin, click on the plus sign to create a default shape key. Then, add another shape key and enter mesh edit mode by pressing tab. Adjust the wing vertices for the new shape key so it looks like the bird is flapping the wing downward. Now, by modifying the value of this shape key, we will have this simple flying animation. To animate this, access the Dope Sheet Editor. Then, click on the circular icon to insert keyframe. To create a looping animation, open the NLA Editor. Then, click on this icon to place the animation into an NLA strip. Next, press N to review the side menu and increase the repeat value. After that, we will apply a particle system to a new plane. In the render section, modify the render as setting to object and set the bird model we created earlier as the instance object option. The particle size is a bit small now, so let's increase the scale value. Remember to uncheck the show emitter option as we don't want it to appear in the final render. To adjust the particle speed, navigate to the velocity section and modify the value for normal to achieve the desired particle speed. Next, proceed to the fill weight section. Decrease the gravity value to prevent the particles from being pulled down by gravity. One final adjustment remains. Currently, all the birds are flapping simultaneously. To address this issue, begin by moving the previously created bird model into a collection. You can do this by pressing the M key. Then, press Shift D to duplicate the bird model and offset the NLA strips. Back to the particle settings within the render section. Modify the render as option from object to collection. Then, select the collection we just created in the instant collection setting. This covers the basic setup for creating a distant flying bird using Blender 3D particle system. You can also experiment with various force field settings, which will influence particle motion in different ways. In this example, I'm using a curve guide to manipulate the path of the particles. Blender 3D also provides a void option, which is used to simulate the movement of birds, fish, or insects. Exploring the void system could be beneficial for your project. 
If you found this video informative and learned something new, please consider liking and subscribing to support the growth of my channel. Until next time, take care.